Do do do. Hey guys, Massy Mars here. Let me just adjust this thing. There we go. So today we are gonna sort out this power so we can get this here charged on. Now you can see I've playing around with this semi fluid and uh, this generator here. I was actually gonna make myself a uh, one of the other the upgraded ones of these. I think it's the Sterling, but then you also need to get one of these heat generators. And then we could use windmill, 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 windmill powered, which is uh, you basically put a rotor onto this thing, put it high up in the sky. But that's a that's a lot of cable to run that down. So um, this is this is the low level one. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we we're not actually going to use basically the difference between the semi fluid and the geothermal is this one here. I'll let you use the other the other powers which um, we're probably going to switch on to um, biofuel this stuff here uh, which is now part of MFR I think the the forestry one is called uh, ethanol okay apparently ethanol is just biofuel now I think maybe biofuel is disabled um, but basically we can use this biofuel generator or we can squeeze out uh, basically plants to make uh, I think it's it's a type of fuel and then you have to refine it to get biofuel well anyway as you can see not much has changed from the outside but when you go through here I've, I've went ahead and upgraded our pipes to these upgraded ones they're the pressurized ones that we were talking about it's just a piece of quartz no three pieces of quartz and then the, the conduit bindings uh, like before I'll show you in a second and I've made up a bunch of these things and I've actually got two more to place down here there we go okay so now that that's done I, I got this uh, common treasure I think there's different types of this treasure as well there's no uses for it it just tells you this enchantment stuff and when you click on them, I've got a few of these now actually. Oh look, we've got an ender pearl, you get a potion and some coins. I think what you get from them is completely random. And um, I've been getting it from that blaze spawner over there. So let me go ahead and throw these away. And I've also collected ourselves some blaze rods. Now what I want to do is I want to get some ender tank stuff. And it's good that we got this ender pearl because now we have two of them for two tanks. So we need to go here and type in uh, ender tank. You can see this is, this is what we need, and um, it's fairly cheap. Two obsidian each piece of wool. So we are going to have to find some wool, uh, unfortunately. And then we will be able to just pump lava straight over instead of having to use these uh, these little barrels right here, the drums, sorry, and and this setup. We'll just be able to pump it straight in, which is awesome. And if I sound different today, it's because I'm quite ill. Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling the best. But, uh, you know, I I want to play some modded when I'm ill. So, um, you know, I have to record as well. Because that's the whole point of this series, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go ahead and place down this MFE and get the first thing charging, actually. Let's go ahead and, and charge up this this nano jet pack because uh, this nano jet pack, nano chest the advanced nano chest plate. We're gonna actually place this one right this way. We're actually gonna have a few of these in a row here, so we'll probably do another one. Uh, and then this is where our cable will come off to our machines, and we may need to transform it, or we can just make those transformer upgrades I spoke about. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Now this is gonna very slowly charge up because it's got 3 million EU and it's only getting uh, 80, 160, no hang on, not 80, 40, 80, yeah it's only getting 160 EU per tick so it's going to take quite a while here so um, yeah I'll be back when all of the armor's charged up uh, actually just before I go uh, and wait for this I wanted to, oh hang on, yeah this barrel has been upgraded I've, I've put the iron one on it and I put another storage upgrade in there as well, another two of them actually, because it kept getting full. Now I haven't actually done any more Thorncrafty stuff, um, but I did get this uh, Ethereal Essence. Now this thing is very, very good because it gives you 
a, a thing. Okay, it didn't that time, but it does. Uh, when you've got a bunch of them and you put them in here, it, it gives you a very high chance of getting those those aspects you need. Now, you can see I put bookshelves under here. This gave a whole bunch of aspects, you see, for free, which is awesome. So whenever I'm doing some more research, which I'm not going to do for a little bit, we're probably going to get into Batania first. Batania is an awesome mod. I'll show you the stuff that's in it. And it works with Thorncraft, so the armour that you get from Britannia, can, you can put these here goggles on them, which is awesome. With our IC2 armour, you can't actually do that. Um, so we're probably going to have like a set of magic armour and like a set of technology stuff. Obviously the technology armour may be better, unless we have blood magic armour. So yeah, uh, we're going to get into this. It's kind of like all based on flowers and stuff like that. And you've got all this awesome looking armour, these baubles, and I did actually get a bauble from one of those bags. It's um, Apprentice's Ring of Terror, and it gives me a terror discount of 1%, so I just decided, you know what, I'll stick that on. Um, so, yeah, and I'm also probably going to make a few more tools, just the same, you know, with stone and slimy, and I'll probably put haste on them. <coughs> and with the sword, um, I'll probably just go ahead and stick uh, a whole bunch of quartz on that to make it as sharp as we can. You know what, I'm also going to charge up this nano saber as well, let's take all of that. So yeah, I'll be back when all of this stuff's charged. See you in a sec guys. Hey guys, so I found some unsuspecting prey. <laughs> yes, that's right, it's charged up now. So let's go ahead and see. Oh. Die. Ah, oh, that's what it is, yeah. So if you shift click on this, it gives you this special mode. But if not, it's just a normal four attack sword, you see. So let's go ahead and find some more prey here. There we go. There's a duck. Or, or is it a chicken? I don't know. Uh, I think it's a chicken, actually. Yes, it's a chicken, but it looks like a duck. So let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. I wonder how many like attack hearts this does. Okay, pigs eye instantly. Okay, guys, here it goes. <laughs> so glad. So glad. Now I don't have to keep walking back and forth between uh, our nether little pump thing, which Autumn has improved, apparently, uh, which is quite awesome. Uh, it's here, which is which is just really, really quite cool. There they are. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, we need diamonds, too. The diamonds are pretty, uh, pretty handy for these things. And not that you need the diamond, obviously. If, if you're playing single player, you won't need that at all. So basically, if we go ahead and we throw, you see this is white, 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 white. Throw a bucket of water in there. It's also in here. So we can take it out of here, put it back in there, take it out again. It takes a while for the inside to update. Put it back in. But now, if we change this middle one to yellow, oh, it's a different thing. It's different now. So if. I put this in here, oh no, that just turns it on and off a bit like these, these portable tanks here. So if we go and throw that in there, right, and now we make this one yellow, boom, bucket's back. But now here's the thing, right, let's say this is our public channel, and we go ahead and throw a bucket of water in there, and then we put a diamond lock on here. Oh no, it's gone. It's because this is now claimed to Mousy Mars, so if I, I think if I pick it up it should tell you that. It's now mine. Yeah, Mousy Mars, you see there on the law. It's now mine, so now people can access this. If if I place it down, they can take buckets out here, but if they break it, um, I think it will just say Mousy Mars on the thing. So they're not quite completely private, so other people can use them, which is awesome because it means you can have your little private channels and uh, people can still get access to stuff. Let's say you make a sheep farm to bring your items over here and you want people to be able to take some stuff out of there. You can do that pretty easily. Also, I made up this saw, which is for you know the micro blocks, uh, which I'm sure everyone's heard of. They're just uh, kind of little blocks there. So these two tanks are basically going to be what powers our our little lava thing. Now I am going to keep a buffer of lava over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this this stuff here. So we just shift click everything out, and I'm going to go ahead and remove these tanks here as well. Oh, we need to mine these out. Okay, perfect. And we took out a tin cable. I'll fix that later. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw a drum here. 
uh, just so we have a higher buffer of lava and then we'll throw that on there oh I've just accidentally placed it on top of me so now if we just do that that should put it in I think uh, so it works okay guys here it goes we're flying over right now oh oh oh, oh god no don't go over okay oh perfect so here's our drum which is our buffer see everything kind of being shifted around in here um, and I think you put it on top so you can just come here and, and grab it straight from the top I'm actually gonna go ahead and move this to the side for what we're going to do here and I think we need to grab out some cobble let's get into safety don't want to be knocked off into that lava uh, so if we just go ahead and, and fill that in I'll still make it accessible for those who want lava if you're playing the server not that it's a public server I'm talking to the people that that I've whitelisted, obviously. Um, oh, that's going to bug me. That that is that is really going to bug me. Let's let's fix that. Let's let's go ahead. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, that was scary. I almost put hover mode off there. Uh, right, so let's go ahead, throw this here, there, right, and replace these pipes. So basically, how he had it, what this does is, whenever, basically. Whenever there's no lava to be taken up, it won't power this here. So you see it's got extract on. We can actually probably just take this here pipe off completely. Um, I think he had it on extract to try and take it out. So I, I don't know if that quite works, but we'll, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Um, and then this is an input. Insert. This one is insert as well. So I think basically how he had this was I this looks a bit different to what he had there. I don't know. Mode disabled extract. So basically I think whenever this drum's full, it won't draw any more lava. I think that's how it worked. I can't I honestly can't remember. I've probably broken his entire setup. Okay, just before I go, I can confirm this is right. If you are going to try and make this setup, this is this is correct. Uh, you could probably compact it more, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah. That's that. I'll meet you guys back over, like I said. Okay, guys, we're back. So, for some reason, this here is yellow on top, by the way. I can confirm that. Kinda. You can... Oh, okay. There you go, yellow. Uh... But it doesn't seem to be giving our, our stuff over here. For, okay, I think I know what's happened. Just as I ended that recording, I realised that this has went up. It was 1.5, so I, I guess our pumps ran out of lava, where it currently is. Which means we're going to have to move our pump. So I'll do this off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it appears we haven't actually ran out of lava. Uh, it basically does a massive circle around where the pump is. And it appears we still have a shiz ton of source blocks around here, so I'll take it, it's not getting power. So maybe Autumn's little setup here doesn't actually work. Well hey, we have lava. I've seen it. There it is. We are, in fact, gaining some lava. Very glitchy, however. And now it's going down. Ah! It's not loaded. It's not chunk loaded. That is our issue. We need to get ourselves a chunk loader. That's what we need. Chunk loader. Yes, I knew there was something. So we need one ender pearl for this and some more obsidian. All right, I'm going to go farm some blazes. Hopefully, or we'll try and find some endermen. See if I can get this stuff that we need. I want to chunk load our base as well. I'll probably just chunk load this whole area, maybe. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Attack! Uh, oh, that took that took all my effort out. I swear. So uh, I managed to get it working. It was something to do with my key bindings, and now it works. And I'm not sure how quickly it's going to eat up our our energy there. I hope not too quickly. It's fairly uh, fairly stable jetpack as well, and it means we can go quite high. I'm still going to use the glider, obviously. But uh, yeah, oh. 
Wow, that did not seem to give us much damage, did it? Okay, it does give us lots of damage still. Okay. Need some gold for that. Uh, two diamonds and some obsidian. So, four diamonds. Let's go ahead and make two of them. And I will go and see if I can get two ender pearls. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so thanks to Autumn. He, uh, he gave us two ender pearls and said he wants nothing much in return, so free, basically. And I've, I've made this to try and improve Chewie's spawner. I'll show you that in a second once I've done it. Uh, it's kind of more off-camera stuff that doesn't really matter um, to you guys. So let's go ahead and craft these up. So now this, I'm going to go ahead and place outside, actually. Oh, I don't want you there. Okay, yeah, you can break this with a pick, by the way. That's, that's important information. So we'll throw this guy, we'll throw it right. Um, there's a nice place for it. I think next to a Thorncraft or no. Hmm. Tough decisions. Oh, right here. Perfect. So with this guy, we can load up an area. So we show the lasers. This is the area that's currently being loaded, which covers all of our stuff already. But we can reduce it, and we can make it a circle, we're just going to stick with square, and it'll just go around the pipe. So this is only loading one chunk, and I think one chunk doesn't quite cover all of our stuff, so we're going to have to do two chunks. Hey guys, so you may remember that I mentioned that we were, I was going to kind of upgrade all of these tools. Well, here's the thing. If I just grab this book out, now I don't really want to make them out of cool again, and I will make a new pick as well, although this pick is pretty good, uh, I must admit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the best things I can. So if we get the materials in the book, apparently there's two volumes. We'll get volume one here. Um, so if I just go ahead and go to the end of this, you'll be able to see that there's this thing called uh, Melelium and Cobalt. Uh, can I find Melelium or Cobalt in here? Hmm. It doesn't appear to be in this book. I will take a look at Mighty Smeltering. Yeah, this this one this one will have it. So you see this Menelium. So now to get Menelium, we need to get Cobalt and Ardite. And to get that, we need to get uh, Aluminite, uh, which is 5 Aluminum, 2 Iron, and 2 Obsidian. We need to make that into a pick head to go ahead and mine the Cobalt and the Ardite that we need. Now this Cobalt and the Ardite... Oh, okay. It's not going to... Let's see. Basically, you go ahead and you throw these two in, and it gives you extremely fast pick once you do. Uh, like, we're talking insane mine speeds, like 20 without even putting redstone on it. And we'll be able to get 30 mine speed picks, and we'll also do it for this as well. And then another thing we can do is we can put a uh, crystal, I believe on it to give it 10 million EU storage. I'm not going to do this that much obviously, I'm just going to put an energy crystal one so then all our tools will have 1 million EU uh, and then we can charge it and recharge it as much as we want using EU instead of having to re repair it basically. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and do this, make this pick, the aluminite one, in inside the smeltery and uh, then I will meet you guys in the nether and we will look for some of this cobalt and ardite. Okay guys, we're in the nether, yay, and uh, I've already seen this piece earlier, oh it's an infernal hive, oh shit, okay we don't want to go near that, that'll kill us, uh, basically our dike looks exactly like the infernal hive and cobalt is blue, I know there's some cobalt over here because I've seen it when I was getting some nether walls and stuff, so, uh, I should probably find this before recording. Guys, I found some cobalt. But you can tell because it's not spotted. Ah, these are stupid hellhound things. They annoy me so much. The amount of times I died like getting ores at the start of this game because of these things. Oh yeah, we can't mine it with that. All right. Uh, come on. Yes. Okay, we have one. We have one cobalt. Yes. Success. Now we have to try and find some ardite so we can make manelium and more cobalt and stuff. And hang on, oh, we found some already. It's right round the corner. All right. Yeah, they're not too hard to find, but like when you're looking for them, you can't find them. 
because you're looking for them and they hide from you for some reason. I've noticed that. Like whenever I'm just flying around in the nether, I see loads of them. And then when I'm actually looking for them, I don't see any. Guys, I found something amazing. This wolf right here is so OP. Ah, oh, look at that. This ore is, like, so good. If I do uses on this, this this blend stuff, once you, once you make this into ingots, I, I don't know what these things do, but if we go along here, look at this pickaxe. It's insane. And it, it's, like, configurable and stuff. And, like, they have this chest. Like I, I think, yeah, look, they've got loads. And it all takes RF, I think. Got, like, armor and a bow... And this is the most OP stuff ever. Let me try and find it. They have like a chest thing. Where's the control? Oh my god. Uh, player detector. Energy infuser. This chest. You put ores in and within two seconds it smelts five at a time of your ore. And it doubles them all. And it's the biggest chest ever. Okay guys, so I finally went ahead and got some cobble and some ardite. Now I'm actually gonna, I got a bunch of other stuff too, copper and all sorts, I just went mining, I got 33 of that dust, and I think I have more in my bag, I might anyway, do I? No, no I don't, but yeah, I've, got, I've now got a whole bunch, so what I'm gonna do is, just like this um, aluminite, what you do is you combine these two together to get the manelium, and I'm going to make manelium tool rods, just like we've done before, and then I'm going to make uh, the pick heads and the hammer heads and stuff, the plates, sorry, out of the cobalt ore. I'm going to make two pigs, one that's silk touch and one that's fortune, I did get a whole bunch of that. I'm going to go ahead and do that, make a whole set of weapons from Tinkers, uh, and that'll be for the next episode, unfortunately, because that's it for today, so thank you all for watching. Also, my completely newbie girlfriend has uh, started playing on the server. We come over here, she ain't got much. Oh, she's got an iron chest. Nah, I like some chests. Um, yeah, she she has a chest. She has a house now. So yeah, next episode, in case you're wondering, we are going to go ahead and start doing farms. We want to get all that automated, sugarcane automated. Possibly do a wheat farm as well. Well, we'll definitely do a tree farm, tree farm, berry farm, farm for the sugar cane. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.